Okay, so, uh, this is my second tutorial, and I'm just picking up where we left off on this. Um, so, so, to, to recap, we're seeing out, like, the console is seeing out, hello, YouTube, as you can see right there, and then we created a string that detects user input, and if the user types in hi, then see out, have a great day in line. So what if the t user wants to type in something else? We have to be prepared for that. So we have to use an else if statement because if it's not that then else so hello equals equals I. What? What would we say if we need the squigglies? So, if it equals by, then we see out goodbye. And the line, and run it. So, compiling. So, hello, YouTube. So, hello. Oh, nope, it's hi. So, hi. Have a great day. Okay. Good. Bye. Oh. Sorry. Bye. Goodbye. Okay. Okay, see how I just made that mistake there even though I'm the user and I type this. So we could make it if hello equals hi or hello equals equals. You have to do equals equals because if it's just one equals it's setting the value to but if it's two then it's saying detect it's like de if it equals equals this That's, so it could either equal hello or it could either either equal hi or hello this one could e either equal by or hello equals equals good bye so running, hello, okay, so have a great day, say we, sorry that was my dog, if you heard that, okay, say we want to declare an int value, int views. Say I want to know how many views I've had today. So, if, let's create another else if. Oh, yeah, make sure to do in views. I might have just said that, I don't remember. So, let's do it in between just for organization. So, else if, hello equals equals uh, views. So if the user types in views, then got the squigglies, see out your video views are we in the quotations and then we do the less than sign to say views and then we do it again we don't actually have to let's just do it again so view your let's phrase that differently your total views are and then it inserts the number of views you have and let's say you have Wait, let's, sorry. You have, insert number, video, views. And then we're gonna end the line. Let's put a space there, otherwise it'll link the view, you, leave a space, otherwise it'll link the views text and this text together in the console, and it just 
I mean, pretty easy fix. So, we can run it right now. So, say we do views. You have zero video views. And that's because we didn't enter in a number from for, for uh, this to equal. Like, right now, it's just returning zero. So, say we did views equals one equals because we're declaring it in the program. It views equals one. So views. You have one video view. Oh, oh that's not good grammar, so two. So views. You have two video views. Okay. So say you don't want the user to no, you don't want to declare what they are, what they have. You want it to be, this isn't realistic, but say you want it to just be randomly generated. Because you just, it's just like a YouTube simulator. So you need to do views equals rand, boom, boom, boom should work so views you have 16,807 video views so rand um, parentheses parentheses semicolon so views equals a randomly generated number but it's not quite so random because if you run it again and type in views it'll be exactly the same so um, it's not random <laughs> but I mean I'll show you a way how to get by that because basically what this is doing is pulling from a library in IO in IO stream I think and it's saying okay somebody typed in all of these so if it's random it's gonna display this one and it's gonna be the same no matter what um, I'll show you how to get by that in a second. Let me show you this first. So, you want to say you don't want their video count, their view count to go over 100. So you do uh, print, uh, percent sign 100. So, it's just maxing out at 100. You have 7 video views. It'll be 7 every single time. And, uh, next tutorial I I'll show you how to get around uh like the set random number because it's not really random if it's set anyways uh that's all for right now so thanks for watching